everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Hot Panorama. I'm your host Michelle and today's topic are the pros and cons of perfectionism. As always, here is a quick disclaimer that in case I talk about any brands, products or services in this podcast, it's because of discussion purposes and I'm not paid or sponsored in any way. So let's get right into the topic and that is perfectionism. Probably everyone knows a perfectionist and if you don't, then it's likely that it's you. I am aware that perfectionism can actually be a serious mental issue, but in today's episode I'd like to talk about the sort of perfectionism that you may encounter on a daily basis, and I'm apologizing now in case I'm using the wrong terminology in this case. I am not a psychologist, and if I use any terms in a wrong way, it's not because I want to offend anyone, but because I don't know better. How did I come up with this topic? Well. I thought of this topic because my dad and I both define ourselves as perfectionists and as we're quite different kinds of perfectionists, I realized that some aspects can be annoying for other people, if not also for yourself. So I thought, why not list some pros and cons from the top of my head? Disclaimer, these are from my personal experience so far and the list might not be complete. And you know me, as I don't want to end a podcast on a negative note, I'm starting with the cons and I'll get to the pros afterwards. The first con that I came up with is that perfectionism might annoy other people because you pay attention to likely unnecessary details, which takes up time and other resources as well. Second, you might come across as a control freak that always has to have the last word and that has to have their way, no matter what. Third, You might doubt yourself, even though you did a good job, but it's just never perfect enough for you. Sometimes you keep looking for reassurance from other people and that might stop you from doing what you would usually do if you trusted yourself. Fourth, it's hard for you to finish or submit a work that you think isn't perfect yet. Just a quick example, this podcast series, for example, <laughs> sometimes I force myself to post an episode, although I'm not really happy with it, even though I think I might do this better and there are so many things that I want to improve, but I just don't have the time and sometimes you just have to trust yourself that what you did is the best you could. So much for the cons I came up with so far. Moving on to the pros. So the first thing I came up with here is that if you're a perfectionist, you might work very thoroughly and don't rush things and hopefully avoid most stupid mistakes that can happen if you rush through things. Second, you think about how you can improve your work and make it more efficient, which might actually help the people working with you. And it's not just work related, but also in everyday life. Third, speaking of improving yourself, Even though someone might be overambitious, it's still good they're trying to reach their goals and have good results at that. And it's definitely better than just slacking off and not caring about going somewhere in life. And fourth, coming back to the aspect of being a control freak sometimes, maybe being a freak isn't so good, but being organized usually is a positive thing, not only for the organizer themselves, but also for other people around them so it's always good to have someone who takes charge of things. Think of group projects at university, for example. It's always good to have someone who actually cares about the group projects and who follows up if other group members actually do their part of the work or not. I know this is a very short list of pros and cons, but even then you can already recognize that As with other personality traits, perfectionism has its bad but also good sides, so don't worry too much about it. It also depends on the person, like there are different kinds of perfectionists, some more extreme than others, some are perfectionists in other areas than others. As I said before, my dad and I are both perfectionists, but he is a way different perfectionist than I am. For example, he worries about Tiny things that I think are not really necessary to care about and the other way around. So not all perfectionists are the same. In my opinion, perfectionism can just be a negative thing if it weighs you down and if it stops you from reaching your goals and doing greater things in your life and having you doubt yourself. But if you try to make the best out of it and 
make use of the positive sides of it, it might actually be really useful. So my advice here would be just try to not let it get in your way too often and you'll be fine. I think when I was younger, I was a way worse perfectionist because I was also very afraid of failing at anything. So I doubted myself more often and I asked for reassurance and never really trusted in what I thought was right. And when I grew older, I realized that you don't need to be so precise in every little thing you do. And you just need to learn how to evaluate where your perfectionism can be useful and where you have to screw it and forget about being perfect and just do it. How about you? Do you know anyone who's a perfectionist or seems like one? Or are you a perfectionist yourself? What are your thoughts on this? And what are your quirks if you are a perfectionist yourself? What do you think would be better if you weren't a perfectionist? Or what are you happy about as a perfectionist? Let me know down below in the comments and let's share different stories of our point of views. And once again, we're at the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it and leave a comment. Subscribe and activate the notification bell to stay tuned for further episodes. And for further information, check out the links in the description below. Before I end this podcast episode, let me insert a quick self-promotion, so to say, because next week there won't be a regular episode of Hot Panorama, but there will be a new episode of Moonylicious, the joint podcast I do with my friend Luna TK. So look out for that. It will be up on Saturday, November 30th. So be on the lookout for that. And I can already tell you that we had a lot of fun recording that episode. That said, until next time, believe in yourself and do what you love. Take care. Bye.